The Lord replied, I will personally go with you, Moses, and I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. This is one of the things that God told Grace Breed Believers Assembly. He told us he will go with us. And when we say Grace Breed, you are the Grace Breed. It's not this hall. It's not the building. You are the Grace Breed. He said, the Lord replied, I will personally go with you, David. You can put your name there. I will personally go with you. I will give you rest. Everything will be fine for you. If the one whose word does not fall to the ground says everything will be fine for you, he meant it. Jeremiah 30, 19 and 20. Jeremiah 30, 19 and 20. He said, there will be joy and songs of thanksgiving from this house. In the, from the mouth of every great bread member. There will be joy and songs of thanksgiving. He said, I will multiply my people. He said, he will multiply us. He will multiply the works of your hands. He will multiply your business. He will multiply your employees. He will multiply you. He, 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 said, he said, not diminish them. He said, I will honor them. He said, I will not despise them. Give it to me from New King James, the same scripture. New King James, yes. He said, then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Out of you, out of you shall proceed thanksgiving. I know human beings don't give thanks for nothing. He said, then out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of those who make merry. He said, I will multiply them. They shall not diminish. He said, I will glorify them. They shall not be small. Can you pray that for yourself this morning? Can you decree that over your life this morning? Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Out of their mouth shall proceed. Verse 19, please. Thank you, Father. We say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Out of me shall proceed thanksgiving. And the voice, and there will be merry, out of, merriment out of my heart. Lord, thank you for your multiply grace breed. We will not be few. Ecclesiastes 2 verse 7, message translation. Ecclesiastes 2 verse 7, message translation. La fraca do kodo fracoto fraca zantalibaya. Le fraca do kodo fracoto fraca zantalibaya. Le fraca do kodo fracoto fraca zantalibaya. Le fraca do kodo fraca zantalibaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, this one, what God is saying here is that he doesn't follow Q. Those who got to Abuja before you, those who make the first one million before you, those who get to your office before you, those who married before you, hear what God is telling you. When you are going to be talking tomorrow, this is what you'll be saying. I bought slaves, male and female, who had children, giving me even more slaves. Then I acquire large hairs and flocks, larger than anyone before me. Those who built house before you in your family, when you are going to be testifying, I built better houses than those who built before me. Jam did not allow me. My mate went four years ahead of me, but I made more money than those who went ahead of me. Can you decree that over your life this morning? Can you decree that over your life this morning? Can you decree that over your life this morning? I bought slave, male and female. I have, I have more investment than those who went ahead of me. Great breed grew more than those who went ahead of us. Great breed multiply in power, in manifestation, in anointing, more than those who went ahead of us. We acquire larger properties. We acquire larger auditoriums. We, 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 we send more orphans to the university. We feed more, 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 more widows. We train more destitute than those who went ahead of us. We give out more planes and more helicopters for evangelism, more than those who went ahead of us. The Braca de Codo Bracanta Libaya. La Ke de Codo Braca Zoco Donto Libaya. La Braca do Codo Bracanta Libaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians 2 8. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Ephesians 2 8. He said, God save you by your grace, by his grace, when you believe. You, you, and you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Those things that he will do for you, you can't take credit for them. Begin to thank him this morning because he's the one who will do those things by himself. He's the one who will do those things by himself. He's the one who will do those things by himself. La fraca zoko do fracoto fraca zanta libaya. La fraca zoko do fracoto fraca zanta libaya. La fraca zoko do fracoto fraca zanta libaya. La fraca zoko do fraca zanta La fraca zoko do fracoto fraca zanta libaya. La bada kada fraca zoko to fracoto lebo. La fraca zoko do fracoto fraca zanta libaya. La fraca zoko do fracoto fraca zanta libaya. La fraca do kodo fracoto fraca zanta libaya. Le fraca do kodo kodo fracoto fraca zanta libaya. Le fraca do 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 kodo fracoto libaya. Thank you, our Father. <coughs> Thank you, our King. Blessed be to your name, O God. Father, as you have spoken in your ears this morning, so will you do unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me read one scripture. 2 Kings 25, 27 to 30. 2 Kings 25, verse 27 to 30. Can we read it together? One, two, three, go. In the 37th year, of the exile of King Joachim of Judah. Even Merodach ascended to the throne. He was kind. Hallelujah. <clears throat> that reading alone is a sermon on its own. If you go to the background of this message, King Joachim was taken into captivity by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He was taken into captivity. The, the people were captured and then he was put in prison. He was the king of Judah. But he was kept in prison and they removed the royal garment on him. And they wore him prison clothes. And he wore that cloth for 37 years. He was in prison for 37 years. And then all of a sudden, something happened. And Nebuchadnezzar was dethroned by God himself. And then Evil Mehodak became the king. Look at the man's name. Evil Mehodak became the king. And then when he became the king, one of the first decisions he took was to bring Jehoiakim out of prison. He was wearing prison garment for 37 years. But when this new man, there was no record that he sent any imagery to the person. He did not approach the man to show him mercy. But the, man, the new king, on his own volition, pulled him out of prison. And changed his cloth. Not only did he change his prison garment. He gave him a throne. Higher than the one that he was. Before he was sent to prison. All on his own. But there's a part <clears throat> that I really enjoy. You know he mentioned. Where, that verse, where he was mentioning the, the, the date. Of the month. The date the, of the year. He said in the 37th year. Of the exile of King Joachim of Judah. Even Merodach ascended to the throne. He was kind and released him from prison. Yes, from prison on, on April 2nd of that year. The next verse. 
He spoke kindly to him. He mentioned the year. He mentioned the month. And what do you pick from there? For everything under heaven, there's a season and a time. And as I said in the first service, there's a law that supersedes the law of faith. Is the law of appointed time. When it's your turn, everything will turn in your favor. And this morning is your turn with the kind of visitation that we had in the name of Jesus. It's your turn this season. And even people who don't like you will favor you in the name of Jesus. So a few lessons from here. The first thing that I said is that there's a time for everything. The scripture was careful to mention everything. The second lesson from that scripture is that God can use anybody to bless you. God can use anybody to bring your captivity to an end. God can use anybody to roll away your reproach. I think it was the workers I was speaking to a few days ago <coughs> about the experience that the, uh, Reverend Chris or Yakilome, no, Re Reverend Chris, uh, the, the grammar speaker, what's his name? Okoti. Reverend Chris Okoti. O when, the, when the household of love, right? The church is house household of love. When the church was about to start, Household of faith, I don't think it's faith though. But Okoti, Okoti is the pastor. <laughs> when they were about to start that church, they went to the US for a conference, him and his team members. The church has not started. They went to the US for a conference. And in the conference in the US, a white businessman who is a Christian, definitely, walked up to Okoti and his team and said, I don't like you. I don't like black people. But the Holy Ghost said, I should give you this money for the work you are about to start. Guess how much? $30,000. Do is it that he doesn't like them or he doesn't like them? Do they need his likeness? They collected their money and they came home to do the ministry. Go, you, People don't need to like your face yes, to bless you. Bible says the heart of the king is in the hands of God. And that's why as you go out from here this week, when you are making your request, don't look at the people's faces. When you are submitting your application, when you are submitting your bid, your quotations, don't look at the people's face. Know that you are there in the name of the Lord. Who said I will go with you? And everything will work for you. That's what he told us in Exodus. The man's name, Nebuchadnezzar's name is bad, but this one's name is evil. But that is the man that God used to pull someone out of the prison. A prison of, not the prison of one week, not the prison of 10 years, a prison of 37 years. The, 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 the third lesson. It also doesn't matter how long. You know, because as a human being, situation and the length of it can condition us. You just get to a certain stage, you give up. You just feel, okay. It's, it becomes your normal. But this guy was in there for 37 years. And how did I know that he did not give up? He, did, he, he could have committed suicide. We wouldn't have read this part of the scriptures this morning. He still kept hope alive. He still believed God. And God showed up for him. I don't know how long you've been in the situation that you've been. You have been, you have been committing sin and then you repent. To next day, you repent. Today is the day of your freedom. In the name of Jesus. You have begged for so long. And there's this thing that I keep feeling in my spirit. There are some persons here you left school without certificate. They will call you this season. You might have even have carryover that you did not clear. And then the time expires. They are calling you back. Amen. Some of us were sacked from our job. And because they say you were dismissed, you are not qualified for any other thing. They will call you and reverse it to the donation. And pay you your benefits. It's been in my spirit now for almost a week. They will call you back to that school. They will Maybe you were owing school fees so you could not graduate. They will waive the money and give you your certificate. 
in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how long it has been. They may tell you the window has closed. Window doesn't close with God. The fourth lesson from that story. Give me <clears throat> Second King 25, 27. Second King 25, 27. Give it to me from King James. 25, 27. It, it, what I'm looking for is those first five words there. And it came to pass. The song we sang, what we prayed for has come to pass. Those things that you have been believing God for, some we have even stopped praying about them. They are coming to pass this season. They are coming to pass this season. There are some things that even your parents were believing for. It did not come to pass until they die. It, you are taking them. Because prayers, doesn't die. prayers don't die. Your parents prayed for it. They did not see it. You will see it. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. People have reproached you. People have talked down on you. You've made some stupid mistakes and people have judged you by it. But it's your season of glory. Because God is removing that prison garment and giving you something better. Your dreams, your visions, your expectations that you have given up on will come to pass in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Another lesson, it was Nebuchadnezzar that captured Joachim and put him in prison. It was evil Merodach that brought him out. Things will change in your office because of you. Amen. Things will change in your family because of you. Amen. Those who have refused to favor you. I was talking to some, what was happening days ago. One of us here was getting married and one of the uncles of the wife was becoming a problem. And I agreed with him that the man won't die but he'll be sick. Yes. So that he won't make contribution. The person is laughing. We pray that the, that the man won't die, but he'll be sick. So he won't attend the traditional. He did not attend. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine now <laughs> because, <laughs> because we have moved on since. The same way in your office, some persons who need to be demoted will be demoted. Amen. Those who need to be promoted will be promoted. Amen. God will orchestrate things around you Amen. just to favor you. In the name of Jesus, God will, he will dethrone those who we need to dethrone. You know, I said something about prayer was a few Sunday ago. I said prayer can uproot. Prayer can plant. Prayer can bind. Prayer can lose. Prayer can promote. Prayer can demote. We are in a season of praying. We are praying this season. Even every word you spoke as a joke, this is a prayer. A lot will happen around you within these 60 days. It will shock you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And then the last thing I'll pick from there is, he was set free and placed on a position higher than his former position. Second King 25, 28. He was, not, <clears throat> he was not only set free. He was set free and placed on a position higher. He spoke kindly to him and gave him a more prominent seat than those of the kings who were with him in Babylon. He gave him a more prominent position. If he was still in exile, and that position that he's enjoying, not even in his father's house. You know, one of the things I've learned, I've said it here before. When my wife came home one of those days and said, they said they are sacking all the lawyers in their office. <clears throat> I, I told him, I told her, sorry, I said they won't sack you. Even if they sack everybody, they won't sack you. And then I felt I have not spoken enough. So I said, uh, <clears throat> not only would they not sack you, they will promote you. Only you will remain, that is not enough, they will promote you. That was exactly what happened. And then with that understanding at the back of my mind, uh, <clears throat> my friend Ben met me sometimes, a few weeks back, about one of the brother-in-law who was having issues. And then we prayed for the basic things we were praying for. And I felt that we have not asked enough. 
I say this thing that the enemy meant for evil. God bring a testimony out of it. The guy might have made mistake and all of that. You know, and then he came, that was what happened, right? Not only was he free, they, they transferred him out of where he needed to be transferred from. Praise God. So that's what we, the, the remaining few minutes we have this morning. Not only will you come out, there will be some things additional. Not only did Israel come out of captivity, they collected silver and gold. Deliverance alone is not enough because the God we serve is more than enough. He said he would do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could have ever thought or imagined. It, it, you have, <clears throat> your mate got married 15 years ago. If you only got married now, that is not enough testimony. Is that you get married now and then in nine months from the day of your wedding, you have triplets. That is what restoration look like. Your mate that you graduated with, they got job two, three years ago. And then you'll be jamming keke na peb everywhere. And then God gives you a job. And as, you know, who was I talking to? How many? Yes, it was uh, Kisley's wife we were praying for. And I felt in my spirit that it's possible to be on maternity leave and get a job. And the job will come with maternity leave attached to it. They said, we, we know. You, you just gave birth, right? Uh, the regular month is three. But since it's the first time you are going to start working as a new mother, we are giving you four months. We will pay you. We will be paying you for the four months. That is the God that we serve. He's a God that we serve. He doesn't know. We we'll call him a bada bada. They know what they are talking about. They know what they are talking about. So this morning, you know, I remind you again, he, the one who told us, we did not say it, that it's our prophetic and anointing service. You have anointed yourself already. You are going to prophesy. Not only with this issue of renting house be over in my life. The house that you will give me, there will be extra room. Can you talk to God this morning? Speak over your life. Not only will you gain admission, but you won't go to a normal school. Not only will he give you a job, he will give you a job, something solid. Not only will he give you a husband, not only will he give you a wife, something solid, something solid, something solid, that others will help you to share the testimony. You know, there are some testimonies you that will share. But there are other things, there's other people that will help you to share. La braca de codo bracan talibaya. La braca do codo bracan talibaya. Not only will you come out of debt, but you will pay the debt of other people. You will bring other people out. Not only will you come out, you will bring other people out with you. Not only will you come out, you will bring other people out with you. La braca de codo bracan talibaya. Le fraka de kodo prakanta libaya. La fraka de kodo prakanta libaya. Le fraka de kodo prakanta libaya. Le fraka de kodo prakanta libaya. Vake de kodo prakanta ta 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 ta. La fraka de kodo prakanta libaya. La fraka de kodo prakanta prakanta libaya. Thank you our father. Thank you our king. Thank you our savior. Lord we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful for all that you've done. Lord, we are grateful. Can we, can we take that song without mic, no drum, from wherever you are? We are grateful.
all eyes closed, every hair bow. <coughs> it, it will be a big service if we don't give peace of persons opportunity to come into relationship with Christ. All the prayers and the declarations will work for you if you're a child of God. If you have not given your life to Jesus, can you raise your right hand above your head? As I say a simple prayer with you this morning, raise your right hand above your head and tell Jesus, come into my life. Change my story forever. God bless you, my brother. That's how to be a big boy. Big boys are the ones who are bold to go out for Jesus. I, I did my own on the 14th of March in the year 2000. If you are here this morning, you want to surrender your life to Jesus, your right hand above your head and begin to talk to say, Jesus, save me. Jesus, save me. Save, save me and change my story. Jesus, save me and save my story. Jesus, save me and change my story. Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we adore you this morning. If you are praying that prayer with me, take this confession with me. Take this confession with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Can we take it together? Lord Jesus, I come to you today believing with my heart and confessing with my mouth that you, Jesus, you are the Savior. I accept you today as my personal Lord and Savior. I ask, oh God, that you save me and change my life forever. I ask that you give me your Holy Ghost to enable me to walk with you all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus.